This video will cover the steps necessary to import base map imagery to Lake's environmental software applications, a simple task which can dramatically improve the visualization of an air dispersion modeling project. When conducting an air quality modeling analysis, use of base map imagery can improve a project by providing locational context to the results displayed on screen. It also replaces empty white space with relevant background visuals and allows you to verify the locational accuracy of sources, buildings, and receptors. There are a number of available online mapping services from which you can export high quality imagery. In this video, we'll use the Google Earth mapping service. Start the Google Earth application. Before we zoom to the location of interest, we're going to change the application options to display universal transverse mercator coordinates along the status bar instead of the default latitude longitude. To do this, go to the Tools Options menu. Under the Show Lat Long group box, select Universal Transverse Mercator and click OK to close the options. Now you will see the UTM zone number, easting coordinate, and northing coordinate of your cursor location displayed in the status bar. Now zoom to the point of interest. If you've already started a project in your Lake software application, you can export the site domain boundary to Google Earth. Here's an example project from AirMod View being exported. Before exporting an image from Google Earth, you want to make sure that the view angle is flat, that is, the most top-down view, and that the compass is pointed north. Google Earth even has keyboard shortcuts to do this. Press U to reset the top-down view, and press N to reset the compass to point north. You should also disable the three-dimensional terrain layer to avoid image distortion. With the display set, select the File, Save, Save Image menu option. You can use the Map Options drop-down menu that appears to enable or disable annotation features. There's also a menu to select image resolution, which will automatically resize the display window to a preset value. When importing base maps into the Lake software application, you will need to give two reference points to minimize image distortion. The points should correspond to the southwest and northeast corners of the image. We can use the Add Place Mark tool to find the approximate corner coordinates. Since the place mark will appear in the exported image, modify the icon settings to something discrete and appropriate. Here, we'll select the small circular place mark and reduce its scale to 1.0. Now, click and drag the place mark to the southwest corner of the image. Make a note of the displayed coordinates. With that point set, add another place mark. Note that your modified icon settings appear automatically. Move this place mark to the northeast corner of the image. Again, make a note of the displayed coordinates. Did you forget to write down the coordinates of your place marks? Don't worry, you can find them by right clicking the place mark and selecting properties from its context menu. Now you're ready to export the image. Click Save Image and then choose a place on your computer to save the image file. We're going to name the image Base underscore map underscore large dot jpeg. Now return to your Lakes environmental software application. I'm using AirMod View, but the following steps apply to all of our software products. Go to the import menu and select base maps, raster images. Navigate to the location of the saved image and select it. This will bring up the define raster image map extents window. Notice that the coordinates of the image are relative. We need to geo-reference the image using the coordinates we noted in Google Earth. To do this, zoom in on one of the place marks in the image. Select the first point button, and then click on the place mark to set the coordinate of the first point. Just type in the X and Y coordinates and click OK. Repeat the process for the second point. When you're ready to import, click OK. That's it! 
you've successfully imported a georeferenced base map to your modeling project. For higher resolution imagery in parts of your domain, zoom in on the area of interest in Google Earth and repeat the process. Once you've done that, you'll have a smaller image with higher resolution over that part of your modeling domain. And now your display will include a physical area of reference to enhance your results presentation. To learn more about our products, visit our website, www.weblakes.com. Thank you for watching.